Jamuna Tira Vanchari Jamuna Tira Vanchari Jai Radha Madhava Kunj Bihari Jai Radha Madhava Kunj Bihari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jai Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Jai Prabhu Pada. Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada. नमो ओम विष्णुपाद परमहंस प्रभु जगाचार्य अष्टोत्तर सदा भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्री प्रपाद की भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी महाराज की अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय नामाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निचानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवस्ति गौर भक्त वृंद की जय अंतर्वायपु धाम की जय वृंदावन धाम की जय तुलसी देवी की जय भक्ति देवी की जय समावेद भक्त वृंद की जय गौ प्रेमानंदे ऑल गुरुस्त्र सम्मलियोटिस ऑल गुरुस्त्र सम्मलियोटिस ऑल गुरुस्त्र सम्मलियोटिस ऑल गुरुस्त्र गुरु एंड गौ रांग सो हरे कृष्ण एवरीवन प्लीज वेलकम टू शिशिराधा गोविंद आई ऑलमोस्ट फेंटेड व्हेन आई सो टुडेस दर्शन सो गॉर्जियस स्पेशली द बैकड्रॉप सो ब्यूटीफुल मतलब यू यू लाइक इट राइट दैट्स इंडियन आर्ट राइट ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल सो वेल बी रीडिंग टुडे फ्रॉम Shrimad Bhagavatam Canto 3 Chapter 4 Verse Text Number 14 and 15 So uh, Before we start Let's chant uh, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrutya Naram Chaiva Naruttamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudirayeta Nashtaprayeshu Abhadreshu 
नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टकी सो टुडे विल बी रीडिंग टेक्स्ट फोर्टीन विच गोज लाइक दिस इत्यादृतोक्त परमस्य पुंसह इत्यादृतोक्त परमस्य पुंसह प्रतिक्षणानुग्रभाजनो अहम् प्रतिक्षणानुग्रभाजनो अहम् स्नेहस्तरो मास कलिताक्षरस्तम् स्नेहस्तरो मास कलिताक्षरस्तम् मुंचक्षुह प्राणजली राब भाषे मुंजच्छुचा प्राणजली राब भाषे Would you like to try to? Ityadrtokta paramasya pumsah. Pratikshananu grabajano ham. Snehostaro mas kalita kshastam. Munchachu Japranjali Rabha Bhashe. Excellent, excellent. Ityadra Tokta Paramasya Pumsa. Pratikshananu Grabhajano Ham. Snehustaro mas kalitaksharastam Muncha chua pranjali rabha bhashe Anybody else? Very nice, Mataji. Beautiful, beautiful. Anybody else? Prabhuji? Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, try to understand this particular verse. Then we can jump to the next one because today they asked me to do two verses. So text number 14. Iti means thus, adrashta, being favored, uktaha, addressed, paramasya, of the supreme, pamsaha, personality of Godhead, pratikshana, every moment, anugraha, bhajanam, object of uh, favor, aham, myself, sneha, affection, uttha, Eruption, Roma, hair on the body, Skalita, slacken, Akshara of the eyes, Tam, that, Munchan means smearing, Shucha, tears, Pranjali, with folded hands, and Ababhashi means said. So, translation by His Divine Great Lord Prabhupada. Uddhava said, O Vidura, when I was thus favored at every moment by Supreme Personality of Godhead and addressed by Him with great affection, my words fell in tears and the hairs on my body erupted. After smearing my tears, I, with folded hands, spoke like this. 
So, first in this text number 14, the Uddhava, when Lord is speaking to him, he was really went into the ecstasy and he almost started crying. And after he uh, smeared his eyes and tears with the folded hands, he started saying this. So, text number 15 goes on. Kunmin shate pad saroja bhajan. Kunmin shate pad saroja bhajan. Sudul bu arte shu chatushra piha. Sudul laborte shu chatushra piha. Tathapinam pravnomi bhuman. Tathapinam pravnomi bhuman. Bhavat padam boja nishevan of sukaha. Bhavat padam boja nishevan of sukaha. You want to try? Anybody? कौन विंशते पाद सरोज बाजां सुदूर लबोर्ते शुचतुर्शुपी हां तथापिनाम प्रवुनोमि भूमन भवत पदाम भोजनि शेवनोत्सुका एनीबॉडी Shri Pad Saroj Bhajan Sudur Laborte Shuta Turshva Piha Tathapinam Pravonomi Bhuman Bhavat Padam Bhuja Nishevano Sukaha Madhari Kunmishate pad saroj bhajan Sudur laborte shuchatur shapiha Tathapinam pravonomi bhuman Bhavat padam bhojani shinsuka So word to word translation by Srila Prabhupada Kahanu Isha, O my Lord, Te means your Pad Saroj Bhajam of the duty engaged in the transcendent loving service of your lotus feet. Sudurlabha, very difficult to obtain. Artheshu in the matter of Chaturshu in the four objectives, Api in spite of Iha in this world, Tathapi yet. Na, do not, aham, I, pravrunomi, prefer, bhuman, O great one, bhavat, means your, pad ambhoja, means lotus feet, and nishevana, utsukaha, means anxious to serve. So that was the word to word translation. Now translation. O oh my Lord, devotees who engage in transcendent loving service of your lotus feet have no difficulty in achieving anything within this realm of four principles of religiosity, economic development, sense gratification, liberation. But O oh great one, as far as I am concerned, I have preferred only to engage in the loving service of your lotus feet, purported by his divine gaze. Śrīla Prabhupāda. Those who are associated with the Lord in Vaikundha planets achieve all the bodily features of the Lord and appear to be same as Lord Vishnu. Such liberation is called 
Sarupya Mukti, which is one of the five kinds of liberation. The devotees engaged in the transcendent loving service of the Lord never accept the Sayuj Mukti or merging in the rays of the Lord called Brahma Jyoti. The devotees can achieve not only liberation but any success in the realm of religiosity, economic development or sense gratification up to the standard of the demigods in the heavenly planets. But such a pure devotee as Uddhava refuses to accept all such facilities. A pure devotee wants simply to engage in the service of the Lord and does not consider his own personal benefit. So best thing, since there are two verses, we should just go over the two translations together so that we can have the correct meaning of the two verses. So Uddhava said, O Vidura, when I was thus favored by every moment by the Supreme Person of Godhead and addressed by Him with great affection, my words fell in tears and the hairs on my body erupted. After sm smearing my tears, I with folded hands spoke like this, O oh my Lord, devotees who engage in the transcendent loving service of your lotus feet have no difficulty in achieving anything within the realm of four principles of religiosity, economic development, sense gratification, liberation. But, O oh great one, as far as I am concerned, I have prefer only to engage in the loving service of your lotus feet. So, these uh, verses become most important. And the reason is that uh, Krishna himself is speaking, Bhagavan Uvacha. So that's not what he is saying to hear when Krishna speaks. Uh, the whole knowledge is actually coming from him. But then again, when a person like Uddhava also talks back to Krishna, that becomes even more interesting. So, uh, it's, that's why it becomes very, very important verses. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Mastaya Bhutari Shamti Bhutari Vidhan Swami Dinamina Namaste Sarasadevam Gauravani Pacharina Vinayamsha Shunyavadi Pashyata Adishadayana Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advedh Gadadara Shivasati Gaur Vakta Vrinda So, it is said in Padma Purana that Vinashayati apayasho buddhim vishadayati api pratishtha payati prayo nrunam vaishnava bhashanam. It says, once infamy and threefold miseries is destroyed just by address by a pure Vaishnava. Even a devotee, ordinary devotee, when he speaks to you, then all your miseries, threefold miseries, are the Atmic, are the Bhautic, and are the Devic. They are all destroyed. What is Adi Atmic? When you point, point a finger at you, oh, I'm sorry, right? When you accept that, that was your mistake, and that is Adi Atmic. That's a misery. You will remember, oh my God, right in front of my spiritual master, right in front of my God brothers, I broke the glass, right? It's a small thing, I mean, 50 cents of glass, but still you will remember all your life that I should not have done, I should not have You won't be able to sleep even. But that is Adi Atmik, most miserable situation. Sometimes you cover up. Sometimes you come and say, hey, who did, who did this? Hey, who is that? Hey, you did it, you did it, right? And person may, may not know people around that who did it. And that's why you are okay, you are covered. But still, conscious, the Atma knows that you did it. And that's why all your life you remember that. That although I'm covered up, nobody said nothing. Spiritual master even didn't notice. My God was didn't notice, right? No one knows now who did it, right? But that's also 
a just a simple cover of cosmetics it's not going to help you other thing is adi bhautik i didn't do it he did it when the, you go at 25 miles somebody comes at 85 miles and bump behind you and when the cops come what do you say i was not my fault i was his fault look i was going at 25 he came at 85 give him the ticket you know so that's it when you point a finger at somebody else that is adi bhautik but still it's a big misery you know you broke the 60000 dollar of car and the car even doesn't belong to you so you have to again uh, reimburse those money to somebody and legal battle go to the court and go to the cops and this and that and, you know it's a big misery again and adi devik adi devik is you cannot finger at yourself or somebody else you finger up there only god knows when you say that that is a adi devik lot of snow lot of rain the tornado comes takes the roof away you know and tsunami right you can't even find your own home when you come home everything is gone the lightning falls on your roof and the house burns down to ashes accidents all these things you know that's decided from up above and that's why that is adi devik but he says when a devotee speaks to you don't take it lightly it is going to do something to you and is going to pratishtha payati prayo means once infamy right is destroyed if you are infamous then you get the credit back because the devotee spoke to you and here he says what to speak of address by vishnu himself he is uddhava is so fortunate that no other devotee is talking to him the krishna himself is talking to him that's why the verse says vinashayati apayoshu buddhim vishadayati api pratishtha payati prayo nunam vaishnava bhashanam when vishnu himself is talking to you then that is the best situation can happen right krishna won't talk to any ordinary person you have to be very pure devotee then only he will speak to you and um in bhagavad gita also he says krishna tasmat usthitva yashol labasva jitva shatrun bukshva rajyam samruddham so yashulabasva yashulabas means if there is infamy at all by participating in this patriarchal battle then you should not worry about that infamy right yash or the fame will be established for you that was the word spoken by krishna on battlefield to arjuna and also not only that he says jitva shatru bukshva rajyam samrudham what is the samrudham rajyam means the kingdom which had you know in those days there was no scarcity of gold and silver and you know crops and all that you know it was available in plenty and so krishna says conquer your enemy enjoy flourishing kingdom and gain fame it was a flourishing kingdom so he wants to have it enjoyed so this way there are incidents where uh, krishna is poking to his uh, pure devotees now there was a very wonderful a spiritual master and even janaka raja mother sita's father uh, accepted this particular personality as his own spiritual master his way of preaching is little different he just puts cards in front of you and he says now choose i'm not going to get involved in playing the games you pick the card you win or lose you decide so here it says 
मोक्षो विषय वैराग्यम बंधो विषय को रस एतावदेव विज्ञान यथेच्छसी तथा को ही सेज डिटैचमेंट डिटैचमेंट फ्रॉम सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन और दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एंड अटैचमेंट टू कृष्णा इज लिबरेशन वट इज अ लिबरेशन लिबरेशन इज नथिंग बट डिटैचमेंट फ्रॉम दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एंड अटैचमेंट टू कृष्णा दैट्स अ लिबरेशन दैट इज अ वन चॉइस एंड एंगेजमेंट इन सेल्फ ग्रेटिफिकेशन एंड एंगेजमेंट इन सेल्फ ग्रेटिफिकेशन एंड डिटैचमेंट फ्रॉम कृष्णा मीन्स यू लीव कृष्णा अलोन एंड यू जस्ट गेट इन वोर इन द सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन और एंजॉइंग दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड बॉन्डेज सो ही पुट्स वन कार्ड एज अ लिबरेशन अदर कार्ड एज अ बॉन्डेज एंड ए से दिस इज एक्चुअल नॉलेज ऑल आई नो इज दिस इवन जनक राजा ही सेज आई डोट नो एनीथिंग बट दिस थिंग वेन यू गेट अटैच टू मटीरियल वर्ल्ड यू ऑटोमेटिकली गेट डिटैच टू कृष्णा and when you get attached to krishna you automatically get detached to uh, material world it's like light switch on off right it's such a, such a little movement now it is even is pushing a button that's the matter right and it one turns on another turns off so as soon as you get involved in sense gratification you are detached from krishna and when you attach with krishna then naturally you get detached from sense gratification not only but with whole material world so there are um, right behind me and over here also shrimad bhagavatam we are also reading there so over there atra sarga visarga sasthanam poshanam utaya manvantara ish anukatha nirodha muktir ashraya few words 16 words are there only in two lines and they describe all this bhagavatam everything in one verse that what is this bhagavatam in which there is one word nirodha one of the canto uh, i think seventh canto is known as a nirodha nirodha leela and what it is is getting attached to one thing and getting uh, at, at same thing adjust to like you take a magnet which is on the refrigerator right sometimes people put magnets on the refrigerator you take that magnet away and put it somewhere else right all you did is from here to there same magnet same refrigerator everything the same but from taking one place to other place that means from taking from material world just put it near krishna and get attached to krishna that is a nirod but in two activities are concerned result is the same two activities are getting detached from material world and getting attached to krishna that is the seventh canto so similarly here sarg visarg sthanam poshanam utaya manvantar ish anukatha mukti ashraya all those are divided every every one of them has a two two cantos two cantos means like that's why there are 12 cantos right then 12 canto will um, give you all these things that we are talking about and actually if you see the set of bhagavatam there are box will contain 18 books why 18 books because they separated thousand verses there are 18000 verses so they printed thousand verses in one book thousand verses in another book thousand verses like that this such a amazing project you know it's and we didn't i mean um, organize all this thing marshi vedvyas organized this thing right from the beginning when he was writing before that he had in his mind that this is what i want to do and that's exactly the result is so here detachment from the sense gratification and attachment to krishna is a liberation and engagement in sense gratification and detachment with krishna is a bondage this is the actual knowledge now one can do as he likes 
So he, he says, you, now you choose. I don't want to get involved. You know, I chose and I got detached from the material life. In the Mukunda Mala Stotra, there is a uh, book. It says, King Kulakshetra Shekhar says, Although Mukti Devi stands at my doors with folded hands, I do not desire her because that would destroy my devotional service to the Lord. So Kulashekhar is a great devotee of Lord Shri Krishna. And he has written um, a book which is known as a Mukundamala Stotra. And one of the uh, verses, he says, although Mukti Devi stands at my doors with folded hands, who is the Mukti Devi? The Mukti Devi is what we call a liberation. And what kind of liberations are there? One is a sarupya, the same form that Lord Sri Krishna has. Then salokya means to stay on the same planet as Krishna. And then sayujya, merging into Lord Sri Krishna. Hmm? Samitya, saying near Krishna, right? And then the final one is the Kaivali Mukti Bhagavati which is that you don't want any of those things. You just want to serve Krishna. I want anything. Sometimes it happens when you love somebody and you do some favor and the person's how much? I say, no, 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 don't worry about it, right? I mean, in this country, a dollar, two dollars, a lot of money sometimes for a devotee because we don't go out and work. But if someone asks how much and right away when we say, no, 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 Prabhu, don't worry about it. That means that you really don't want anything from the person. And that's a real actual kind of service. The rest of them is a business. You did it because you wanted something, you know. So, uh, it's a very interesting story. We did some nine day Ramayana in this place. And it was very successful uh, katha, in which um, it's a very beautiful scenario here. Lord Rama is ready to go back back to God, just like in here also they said right here in this particular canto that we are reading. Krishna wanted to wrap up his pastime, so what he did that you know he gave some kind of intelligence to his own son. And he went to the sages and they played mischief and the sages cursing them that whole your dynasty will get wiped out. And he took everybody home, back home. But in Ramayana, it was a very decent approach going back, back to God. It's just like a drama is there and drama is done. We say, okay, let's go home and you know, so similarly, Lord Rama said, you know, whatever we were supposed to do, we did it. Now let's go home. Are you ready? So he had a big chariot and say everybody just fell in this thing. So those who took part, who participated in Rama, they got along with um, Lord Rama. And then actually there is a picture of uh, in Bhagavatam also that this whole thing is going back, back to Godhead. Similarly, literally just like a uh, big jumbo plane, you know, the Lord Rama took everybody back, back to Godhead. That time, uh, Hanuman uh, was missing. And you, you know that movie, Home Alone? Have you ever seen that? In, in that movie, what happens that there was a family of about 15, 16 people. And they all go, you know, take a flight. And then there is a, you know, in the airport, one gate is this way, one gate is other way. And the little boy, you know, about 10 years old, instead of going and following the family, he thought my family went that way, so he took another route. So he was totally detached from the, where he was supposed to be. And now, when everybody were in the plane, you know, mother thinks of uh, this boy's name was Kevin. 
And she says, Kevin! You know, similarly, Lord Rama says, Anuman! And Anuman is still sitting there. He says, what are you doing? You don't want to go back, back to Godhead? He says, no. He says, Jiva Bandha Chire Tasya Sprumyami Na Muktaye Bhavan Prabhu Aham Dasa Iti Yatra Vilupyate. He says, no. I don't want to go back, back to Godhead. He says, why? He says, you are living this world, material world. But people will remember you. They will make your image. They will put it as a deity on the altar. And they will serve. They will chant your name. They will dance. They will write books and distribute it. Who is going to do that? You need at least one devotee here who can make so many devotees and then do Sankirtan. That's my job. I want to be the most senior devotee in uh, Sankirtan movement, he says. You, uh, you guys go, whatever you want to do, you do them, right? But he said, going back, back to Godhead, said, I know. I can understand that. Sarupya, Samipya, you know, all that I know, but this, I don't want any of that. I don't want to go back to Vaikuntha Loka. I want to stay right in this material world. So he said, Anumanji said, O Supreme Lord Rama, I do not desire liberation if it is going to destroy my awareness that I am your servant and you are my master. Right? This is the one thing I don't want to forget that you are my master and I am your servant. So Srila Prabhupada, you know, I am jumping from one to another, but the Srila Prabhupada was so merciful that he said that if you want to achieve that kind of status, if you want to come in that mood of a devotee, right, who is totally surrendered to Krishna, then remember only one verse. And Prabhupada has given us. He says, Smartavya satatam vishnu hu vi smartavyo na jat chit sarve vidhi niveshada surya etayor eva kinkaraha. This is known as a golden rule of Krishna conscious scriptures. It could be Charitramrita, it could be Bhagavatam, it could be Bhagavad Gita or any other books that Prabhupada wrote. The bottom line is that, that Krishna always be remembered and never forgotten at any time. That's the golden rule. If you read Bible, mother, you ever read Bible? Yeah, she is. I know from where she came and I used to visit her country many, many times. And uh, a lot of uh, Christians are there, a lot of churches are there, a lot of preaching is there, you know. Preaching to this extent that they used to give me a ticket to go to her country every year. And as you come and preach, right? So, can you believe that? I mean, and not one person. There are thousands of people all over the world and they will just give away money and they say, come on everybody. And the whole stadium, 100,000 people, they, and then you have to speak to them, you know. So the thing is that uh, people have reached to that stage. And that's why Mataji knows what's the golden rule in Bible. Don't do it to others if you don't want to, someone to do it to you, right? If I poke your eye, you are going to poke my eye also, right? If I say bad words for you, you will definitely say bad words for me. Nobody is going to wait, right? So the thing is, just don't do to others. That, that's the golden rule in the Bible. That's the Christianity. But here the golden rule is given by Srila Prabhupada is, Krishna always be remembered and never forgotten at any time. And he says, all rules and prohibitions mentioned in the Shastras should be servants of these two principles. There are only two principles. And that's one, remember Krishna. And another is, do not forget Krishna. And all of the rules and prohibitions, any injunction that I talked about, Prabhupada said, just forget it, put it aside. Always remember Krishna. Thank, thankful to Krishna and take shelter of him even when everything seems to be okay. So that is the, what you call uh, spirit of a devotee 
that he doesn't want to get into this um, kind of um, and that's why uh, if you read it says ashwasthama balir vyaso hanumant chi vibhishana krupa parshurama cha saptate chir jivita such devotees are still living on this planet they never left this planet because they can serve the lord and one of them is hanumanta hanuman is one of them that is still there serving lord rama any temple you go to lord rama's temple then outside they have little uh, installation of hanuman because without hanuman you cannot serve rama so that's why he is there so there is so many things that you know we have to learn and our uh, disciplic succession also teaching the same thing bhakti uh, vinod thakur anya vilashita shunyam gnan karmadi anavrutam anukulena krishnanu shilanam bhakti uttamam free from desire of sense enjoyment mental speculation attempts to attain fulfillment through power and knowledge pure devotion is the favorable cultivation of service to lord shri krishna and they all followed chaitanya mahaprabhu he said na dhanam na janam na sundarim na kavitam va jagadish kamaye mama janmani janmineshwar bhavata bhakti ahetu tvai he said i don't want any wealth i don't want any you know like repeated births and deaths i don't want any beautiful woman and i don't want any kind of you know publicity um, many many disciples i try to be jagat guru and all that you know all i want is to serve krishna unconditionally right ahaitu so i think is the time is up now they say i have to speak only 45 minutes but if you have anything to uh, what do you call discuss we can always uh, discuss this um main thing is that all these things are there and we are all excited to be uh, following those things and some people uh, without any thinking about their own status level or uh, qualification they try to uh, assume that they are pure devotees but uh, being a pure devotee is something uh, which takes little time for people like us so in uh, Kishkinda Kand in Ramayana when very first time Lord Rama happens to notice Hanuman ji he asks Hanuman ji who are you right so he was sent by Sugriva because he says someone is trying to kill me so Hanuman go and find out who those guys are Ram and Lakshman is traveling in the jungle right in middle of nowhere and he says these people which have never ever seen they must be hired by wali because he wants to kill me so you go and find out so hanuman ji dressed up as a brahmin you know when you are dressed, dressed up as a brahmin you are very safe because even though the person is carrying the bow and arrow he will not shoot you because why should we kill brahmana you know he is innocent creature so what it is that he this guy is a brahmana and is trying to approach lord rama so lord rama is also very uh, particular about his uh, welfare so he says who are you so he really surprised lord rama by his answer rama was not expecting that someone will say these words and after he heard those words never ever he changed his opinion about hanuman ji first impression is the last impression 
and period. That's it. When it comes to Anumanji, he knows he is a pure devotee. Because he says this word, he says, Deha drashta tu daso ham, jiva drashta tva daushaka, atma drashta tvameva itim, me nishita mutihi. Alright? So, by birth, I am a monkey. The 8 million 400,000 species of life, right? But if you ask, out of those 8 million 400,000, I am one of them, very insignificant creature, and that's called monkey. That's me, right? That's what he is saying then. And then he's not stopping there. Being a spirit soul, I'm a part and parcel of you. You are like an ocean. I am like a drop of ocean. But if you analyze, I used to work for uh, DEP, right? D you know what a DEP is? The water that you get here is supplied by DEP, right? Department of Environment Protection. And what we have to do, we have to go to the river, pick up the sample, bring the sample and then try to analyze. The machine will do everything, but the thing is that how much chemicals are there, how much paints are there, what is the pH value of that water. If pH value goes more than 7, then government interferes. They say, no, everybody stay out of water, just like Kalia snake was there, right? If you drink that water, you die. The same principle applies here, that stay away from river, stay away from motion, this, that, right, that. But that is analyzed from a drop of a, taken from the river or ocean, right? It has the same quality as the entire river. It has the same quality as entire ocean, a little sample of water. Everything is there. So, Hanumanji says that that's the only difference. If you want to see my qualities, I have the same qualities as you have, no problem. But those qualities are very minute, insignificant, very small, little one. Every one of us, Krishna has Shri, Shakti, Kirti, Kanti, Gnana, Vairagya, everything. He has all the money, he is the husband of Goddess of Fortune, right? He has all the money. But I may have two hundred dollars and you may have five hundred dollars or Mataji may have thousand dollars. Everybody have a little money, that's right. But you cannot have as much money as Krishna, right? So that's why uh, Hanuman Dada says that I am part and parcel of you. And just day before yesterday when we wrapped up the Srimad Bhagavatam in 12th Kanto, chapter 15 and verse number 13, he says, Aham Brahma Param Dhamma, Brahma Aham Paramam Padam. Shukadeva Ji's last words are this in Srimad Bhagavatam. He says, spoke the whole Bhagavatam, all these books. But these eight words are spoken by Shukadeva Ji. And that's then he never speaks anything. He says, think in your mind. King Parikshit, Aham Brahma, Param Dhamma, Brahma Aham, Paramam Padam. Once you know that I am non-different from the Absolute Truth, the Supreme Abode. And that Absolute Truth, the Supreme Destination is not different from me. So, Hanumanji also replied the same way. And Rama was shocked because that is the cream of all our scriptures. Once you know this, then you don't have to know anything else, you know. So that's why these are the last words and Parikshit Raja says, that's it. I don't want to discuss this subject anymore. I am now convinced, you know. So, and uh, in ultimate sense, Anuman Dada says, I am not different from the absolute truth, the supreme abode, and that absolute truth, the supreme destination is non-different from me in ultimate sense. So, then again he says, although my constitutional position is that I am an insignificant 
eternal servant of yours besides from all this i describe to you about me um deha drishtva tu daso ham daso ham is i'm your servant and would you like to know anything more about me and lord rama embraced it and lakshman says you don't know him even he says no he told me what he is and i'm satisfied with the answer so this is the situation once you go to that stage you can call yourself devotee and then you can do whatever you want to do for example uh shila prabhupada is very merciful and sometimes she will say oh don't worry about your father don't worry about your mother don't worry about education don't worry about dharma don't worry about earth don't worry about karma right he he is encouraging you because this thing you should not be actually giving but these are the part these are the actually uh, for example microphone i use the microphone so that you can hear so similarly in order to live our life we exactly have to have gone through all this karmas or the purusharth they call it, purusharth dharma or the kam moksha is known as a purusharth we need it why because the same chapter in shrimad bhagavatam that i am talking about it says our life yours mine everybody's life is like a g lamp you know when you there is a uh damodar that the month is coming now and we will be having a little clay pot in which we put a ghee wick you know cotton wick we fill it with some oil or ghee or whatever and then we light it up and then offer it to krishna what it means bhagavatam describes that that particular pot right it's our mind because this whole world lives within our mind once we leave our mind then we are no good we can't live anymore so the mind is very important so that particular uh, clay pot is compared in bhagavatam with the uh, mind and what is that cotton wick that we put that is our body our body we are also offering to krishna and what is that oil or ghee we put it that's a karma that is a pushart as soon as you wake up you cannot think that i'm not going to do anything oh let me go and brush let me go and take a bath let me change my clothes let me read the newspaper let me see the cell phone what what is it right something you want to do that and that is a pushart and that's why dharma arth kaam moksha are given for that purpose because without that without ghee that ghee wick is of no use it will not light any anyway so that's why by hook or crook because we also were existing in our previous life whatever karmas are there we have to pay for that either good or bad we have to either enjoy or suffer whatever and that is done very intelligently through all this karmas or purusharth that's why it is a part of our life and then what is the once you light that ghee lamp what is that fire that fire is a consciousness that consciousness keeps us going if that fire is not there then ghee lamp is not going to work we can't offer anything anymore and that's why krishna consciousness is most important part in our life just like a fire itself is compared with the consciousness the krishna krishna consciousness in our life get the same kind of importance as important as a oil or purushars as important as a the cotton which is our deha or body and our mind the pot little clay pot that we are using so in this month only we are getting that damodar and anybody know how to sing damodar stuck you know be prepared
and uh, yeah because every day we have to sing all right hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare i think it's time for the prasadam bhagavat prasad ki shrimad bhagavat purana ki